Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, DeBoss, here with another video for you guys for today. Um, today, guys, it's going to be a video that I've done many times before in the past. I've talked about this particular subject a lot, but I've seen it arise out so much more in the community lately. And it's not even just, you know, today it's I'm going to be talking about sub for sub and uh, subbotting and all this other bull that people like to do on the website to try and get an artificial edge that kills their channels. That's essentially what both of them are. And I know I've, you've probably heard this a million times on YouTube in the past. I'm not the only content creator by far to discuss this. I certainly have talked about it many times before. But when I see new generations of YouTubers coming on this website for the first time and they think that this is the right way to make their content, you know, shine out from everyone else by exchanging subscribers, which is fake, buying subscribers, which still doesn't make any sense to me. Like, why would you spend actual money for fake subs that YouTube's not even going to let you keep in the first place? That's stupid. You're out how much money you paid, and it's also just not right from a moral standpoint for being a content creator. But I wanted to make this to explain to all you new people coming to YouTube or people that are currently doing this, stop. Just just stop right off the bat. There is no reason for it. It makes no sense whatsoever. You, This probably isn't the first time you've even heard this person who's doing sub for sub. Um, you shouldn't do it. And I've seen it so much in Facebook groups especially, Facebook YouTube groups, because that's a great place to meet people and share your content. Um, but it's also at the same time a negative in the ways that people go there and these... <laughs> they ask for sub for sub all the time. They have listings where they have a certain amount of subscribers and a certain amount of money that you pay people, like a thousand bucks for like a hundred subs or something like that. And I see it all the time when I go into these Facebook groups. And it's crazy how these people are still doing it despite the fact that they shouldn't be doing it. They know they shouldn't. It's all fake. It's all artificial. And besides, it's one thing people don't realize either. YouTube, as messed up as the algorithm is now and it gets sometimes one thing youtube does is they do remove inactive subs or dead subs and they know they run annual checks on all accounts on youtube they will remove those subscribers so if you spent all that time exchanging subs with somebody um or <laughs> you spent your time buying subs yeah tough luck pal you're not going to get to keep them but another annoying side of it isn't just the practice of people doing it in the first place it's people constantly freaking messaging you and spamming you on facebook privately messaging you saying sub for sub um exchange subs exchange likes exchange comments buy 10 subs for 10 bucks or something i mean it's happened to me before i know it's happened to plenty of content creators that i know and uh, people i've seen on facebook groups and whatnot in the community it's happened more than once and unfortunately that's the other side of it too it's not again it's not just the fact people do it but it's also the fact that people go through the trouble of it's it's harassing people. It's like the best way that I could possibly put it. And it might not seem like a big deal to some of you out there, but when you're a YouTuber, it's a huge deal. Especially when people are messaging you, people are subs doing sub for sub, killing their own channels. But you know what? That's their business. If people want to go out and do that, that's their thing. But here, I'm trying to help those of you out there who either don't know about this, need to have awareness raised to you because you're currently doing it, or you're just starting out on YouTube um, to make sure that you guys don't fall in the beginner's trap of falling for that. As I have admitted many times, back in my early YouTube career three years ago, I started doing it. I lost all the subs that I did it with, and I realized from that day forward that sub for sub and all this other basically trying to get ahead artificially does not work for your channel at all and it's a waste of time it's a waste of energy and frankly it's stupid it's it really is but that's it for today's video guys i just wanted to talk with you guys once again about sub for sub and sub body and all this craziness hopefully this will help at least one person out there to either not do it and do the grow the channel properly or stop doing it and actually put forth effort into your content get out there contact people collaborate uh collab with people go out there and make your own original channel ideas or the numbers will come with time guys don't obsess with them right off the bat because if you do you're going to crash and burn right off the bat so Grow your channels properly, go out there and meet people, and just have fun with it, and don't try to get ahead through artificial dumb means. Either way, guys, once again, um, I would actually like to know your guys' opinions on this, as always. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments, about the issue of sub for sub, or sub botting or something. Let me know your guys' thoughts, and if you did enjoy the video, give it a like, and subscribe to the channel if you're interested in catching my future videos and streams. And again, I hope this helped you guys. Either way, thank you for watching. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Peace out, bosses.